Hey YouTube, John here with Sonic's Adventures. I just want to mention that there's no paid endorsements here. I am not affiliated with any company around my videos or my airplanes. So just wanted to put that out there and we'll jump into the video. Thanks for watching. Hey YouTube, John here. We're going to go flying today and do some touch and goes in the pattern. Another one of our windy fall days. The weather wasn't great, but uh, you know you take it when you can get it, especially this time of year. Um, but basically, I'll just narrate through. We're uh, we're going to do pattern work today. Uh, wind was pretty much down the runway, but gusty. Uh, made for some nice landings, as you'll see. And uh, we'll narrate. We'll go ahead and jump right in. Thanks for watching Sonic's Adventures. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon, and you'll get notifications of future videos. All right, we're going to jump right in here. Uh, the engine's running. I'm going to do a uh, 3x video speed as I taxi uh, from between the hangars out to take off. And you can see the windsock down there on the end of the hangar rows there is gusting pretty good. And you can see the clouds. We had good distance as far as visibility is concerned. Those clouds were about 3,500 feet. And you can see just as they're moving here at a little bit of a speeded up video setting here. Uh, they're moving pretty quick but it was right down the runway so we're going to go out here and do a little uh, touch and go work in the pattern all right so now we're down here at the end of 27 i'm going to go through my uh, run-up procedure here pre-flight i already set my instruments and everything as we were doing the taxi set my altimeter and check everything on that side uh, mag check looks good carb heat there fuel pump is on talked about that in another video whether to fly with it turned on for takeoff or not um, I've read both and again if anybody's got uh, input on that that you want to leave in the comments let me know uh, what I'm doing here you'll notice in a few of my videos I'm looking off to the right You're probably, what is he looking at what is he doing uh, that's where my checklist is. I have it uh, clipped to the right side uh, on the cockpit. And so I go through and I do my uh, checklist, uh, make sure that I've got everything there and just then get set for uh, emergency procedures on takeoff. So that's what I'm doing. Anytime you see me on the ground looking over to the right for some period of time, it's checklist related. Uh, so here we go. We taxi out, hit the power, and uh, off we go. Tail's coming up there. You can see the gustiness there on the upper right video there. You can see kind of bumpy, you know, standard. You'll see my right finger touch the uh, right hand instrument there. Now that's checking the tack. I like to touch my instruments. My flight instructor taught me that years ago. Milo Thornton and Rick D'Angelo were my two instructors. Um, it lets me know it just that it's kind of reinforced the visual check as I touch around my instrument panel. Certainly look at them, um, but that's what I'm doing there when I touch that. I'm just confirming I've got good RPM. Everything looks good. Climbing out here about 100. You can see my airspeed indicator jumping up and down there. Turn my fuel pump off. Here we're turning in uh, base to final, and again under 100 miles an hour it's about where I like to be if I were going to drop flaps we'd come in around that setting and do that uh, basically just lining up here on the approach airspeed's looking good slowing down a little bit pull that nose up one thing about bumpy flying it lets you know you're in an airplane and you're flying you're not driving a car Slowing down here, coming up at 80 miles an hour there. That's 80 on the uh, airspeed indicator. And I've mentioned it before too. Just like to hand fly the airplane at this point. Don't really get too worried about the instruments. Just feel it. Coming in here. Power's off. Slow down. Just really just kind of hold it. And touch. Uh, power on. You can see airspeed climbing pretty quick. Hold it in the ground effect. It's kind of a signature takeoff technique for me. As I've mentioned again in other videos, uh, 
like to have that little bit of extra energy there in case something happens as I'm climbing up here through that initial climb altitude. So I'm doing in the airspeed indicator, that's about 125 miles an hour right there. I typically like to climb more at about 100. Um, but it just it really depends. It, it was a cool day. Uh, the air, airspeed was higher than normal for the climb. I don't like to climb too aggressively pitch angle because then it's a little bit more of a challenge to get air down through the oil cooler on this airplane. And so it's always a trade-off, right? It's performance versus uh, your engine considerations and all the other things you have to factor in there. But also didn't want to really climb too fast out of the uh, pattern altitude because of those low clouds, relatively low clouds. And then here we are again, turning uh, base to final. I do three touch and goes, so if you want to fast forward them or watch them all, like I included them all in this video, again, mainly for me, but uh, feel free to watch along and enjoy. Uh, slowing down here again, I like to be doing about 100, a little fast. But that wind was really pushing me. So it was going to take forever at 100 miles an hour to get there. <laughs> uh, but you know, 100 now down to 90. And again, that's probably about a 10 mile an hour variation in that airspeed indicator about this point, slowing down a little bit more. Really want to be about 80 here on the short final, coming over the trees. At this point, if I had a catastrophic engine failure on a normal day at this setup, I could probably make the runway. Uh, but with this win that day, I'm not sure I'd have been able to. Um, something to factor into my approach here as I get more familiar with the airplane. But holding nice at 80. You see how it just jumps around on the airspeed indicator. I watch it more <laughs> in post and video editing than I do when I'm actually in the airplane. Coming in here, these are all, I believe, no flap landings. And hold it off. Hold it off, still holding it off, and touch. So here we go, same technique, full power. Getting a little bit of actually crosswind off my right. I don't know if you saw the uh, windsock there, I was going pretty quick past it, but it was straight out. And uh, for non pilots, that's 15 knots uh, when it's straight out like that. And straight out means it's at least that. It's probably gusting up to 20-25 again. Uh, doing the climb out here again. It's a little faster than normal. That's 120 miles an hour is where it's indicating right now. Uh, your airspeed will vary based on altitude and temperature. They call it density altitude, but there's a lot of variables there. But Again, just not getting too aggressive in the climb. Uh, you can see off to the, you know, to the north or right in the upper video, if you look at that inset video, it's it was a lot more kind of scud layer and darker skies up there. I'm in the sun, but to the north there were certainly no gaps in the clouds. And here we are uh, turning crosswind here, but now we're coming back here to base to final, and this will be the final landing. And I believe my best landing of the day. All of them were pretty good, no bounce. Uh, again, just checking, you can see me touch the instruments. So anytime I'm doing that, it's just really a visual check. Um, I might be scrolling through some of the panels on the left instrument, EFAS, um, but it really just depends. On the right instrument, which is my TAC, and that's got cylinder heads, oil temperature, oil pressure, that's just a v RPM. That's really just me checking everything. Again, here we are about 80 miles an hour on the short final, which is where you want to be. And I can tell you, in the cockpit, I'm not even looking at it. I'm eyes out of the cockpit at this point. And just correcting for these wind gusts as we come in here. Start the flare, start slowing it down, just holding it off, just holding off, holding off. And touch right there. And yeah, another good day of flying. Well, any day of flying is typically a good day of flying unless something bad happens. Uh, but yeah, so that was it. Uh, thanks for coming along. Uh, doing the uh, after landing checklist there. There's the wind sock. It looked like it was about 14, 13, 14 knots right there when I passed it on this one. Uh, but getting ready to clear the active and 
head back to the hangar, which I won't bore you with the, the ground taxi stuff. And uh, appreciate you watching. Subscribe and like if you get a chance and uh, look for more videos. Thanks for watching Sonic's Adventures. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon and you'll get notifications of future videos.